Hey guys, YouTube Essentials here. For today's video, I'm going to be making a couple of DIY lightings. I'll be starting off with this decor item that I got from the Dollar Tree. And all I'm going to be doing is making a hole in the middle. This is thick enough for what I want to use it for. And the hole that I'm making in the middle is so that I can have a pipe pass through it. If you're new to my channel, it's so great to have you here. Now don't forget to click on the subscribe button and that notification bell so you don't miss out on any of my latest videos. I'll be using a strong adhesive and a hot glue gun to hold them together. After a while, I took it out and I spray painted it silver. I kept it aside and then I got lighting that I'll be attaching around the pipe. Now for the first shade option, I'll be using chopping mats that I got from the Dollar Tree. And I'll be using this to make a long square shade that would fit the lighting that I just made. You will notice that after I measured and folded the chopping mats, one side is longer than the other because I was using the measurements of the square base that I have for the lighting. Now I'm not going to cut off the shorter side, instead I'm going to leave it the way it is and double the remaining sides to make the shade stronger. The shade is going to be about 2 inches higher than the actual lamp that I just made. I'll make 4 of these and glue them together in such a way that I'll have a square shade. And for this particular shade, I used 5 packs of chopping mats from the Dollar Tree. I'll make a slight opening by the side for the cord. Now I'm going to be covering the entire thing with bling wrap. I got this from Walmart and I'll be using two packs of this to cover the entire thing.
this lampshade was quite easy to make. Now moving on to the second design. I'll be using a light panel that I got from Home Depot. And this is the picture of other light panels that they have, but this particular one caught my eye. And guess what? I got it at a discounted price because it had some cracks. I was really happy about that because for my project, I'm going to make it in such a way that you won't even see the cracks. So what I'm going to do now is cut out just what I need to make the perfect square shade for my lamp. I want to let you guys know that this particular panel is kind of fragile. It can easily break. So you have to be careful when cutting. I'll be holding them together with zip ties. I did not have a full length piece for the fourth side so I just kept adding pieces and then left this part here at the bottom for the cord. It's beautiful and shiny already and I love it but we can do something else to it like gluing on gems inside the holes. This is gonna take a while to finish but I did not mind because as I was doing this it was coming out so pretty but unfortunately, what I had was able to complete just one side of my shade. I was so upset because Party City was closed. And that's where I get my gems. I get them from Party City. So I was able to just cover one side alone using what I had. But I'm definitely going to finish the other sides once this whole COVID-19 situation dies down. For the third lighting idea, I'm going to be using two plaques that I got from the Dollar Tree and making holes in the middle and gluing them together. And the hole is going to be for a pipe that's going to pass through them. When I was done, I took it out and I spray printed it silver. I also spray printed the pipe silver. I'll insert this inside the hole, glue it, and then keep it aside. Now I'm going to be using terrarium planters for this next design because someone requested for me to make a floor lamp using them. A full detailed video on how I worked on these to give me a nice mirrored look is going to be at the top right and in the description box below. I'll be using this shade for my lamp and because what I have here is flat, I'll be using a round board and gluing three lights for these three open spaces. I 
I'll be covering the top with bling wrap. The board with the lights is not glued to the shade and you can easily change batteries. The shade alone is going to be glued to the stand. This also turned out so pretty. This is what all three lightings look like. These are all really pretty and you can choose whichever one you like to work on. I know it's getting really hard being at home these days, but I would like to encourage you all to remain strong and prayerful. Remember to always sanitize your hands and wear a mask if you're going to be outside. If you all enjoyed this video, now don't forget to like it and share it with your friends and families as well. Thank you guys so much for watching. Now I have other home decor DIY videos that are linked in the description box below to check them out. And don't forget to click on the subscribe button.